Hello, everyone. Well, five weeks on Carnivore. It's results day. That means comparison photographs. It means a spreadsheet so you can see the losses, all the gains. Who knows? It also means I'm going to talk about what I went through this week. And if you hang around to the end, there's going to be a question of the week. Let's get into it, shall we? Hello, everybody. Well, here we go. Five weeks on Carnivore, and um, it's been quite a ride this week, not going to lie. Um, emotionally, it's been tricky navigating some things that are completely unrelated to this channel. It's to do with my other channel that I run for my mother, who was an opera singer. It presented some emotional challenges that oh, they were difficult to navigate. But navigate I did. <laughs> but yeah, I got around it. By get around it, I didn't avoid it. I met it head on. And I was able, with the help of some support, to come to a good conclusion but yeah there have been some things this week that have I've I don't and I know this is going to sound really strange but I think you're going to get what I'm saying it's it's like I can feel my body working really really hard to heal like I I can feel it and that in itself has made me quite emotional because you know, thinking of the hard work that this poor lifestyle's got to do, uh, it's a lot all at once for this lifestyle to fix, you know, and, you know, that realisation of the damage that one has done and it's a very bitter pill to swallow. And so there has been a little bit of tension for me this week it's been difficult for me to navigate all of those things but like I said navigate them I did um there's been tears there there has been tears um and thank god for my darling husband who understands it all and you know he's been so supportive and my kids also supportive now the other thing that I've, I've experienced a few things this week on a fit physically that have, you know, one of the things that I've noticed that my nails are those ridges. You know, when as you get older, you get those ridges on your nails. I've just noticed that my nails are smoothing out. So I'm like, sweet. Um, I had a bit of a, a oh, I don't know how to put it. Sort of like a, you know, that catch 22, two steps forward, three steps back kind of deal. Um, yesterday and the day before, there was a little bit of increased pain in my legs. And there was like, you know, one day I said to my youngest, for whatever reason, I was actually craving a cup of tea, not coffee, a cup of tea. And, you know, my youngest son is a tea, well, he's a tea person. And he likes his coffee as well. But, um, you know, he likes a cup of tea. And um, so he made me, a couple of nights ago, he made me this cup of tea. And, oh, I went down a treat. And then it, there was like uh, one of the things I expected. I woke, woke up in the middle of the night and I just moved a little bit funny. And I got, oh, I got this cramp in my left calf. Oh, it was like, oh, yeah. And what was the other thing? I had some headaches this week, feeling really sort of, uh I just felt not emotionally fat, just flat, sorry. I felt um, physically flat. It was like I could just feel this 
oh my body trying to heal itself you could I could feel it and I'm like oh you poor thing I actually felt sorry for the carnivore lifestyle having to withstand all this healing that it's got to do you know and it, it's just yeah I'm just very aware of it so you know I thought about these little things and I thought Okay, so yeah, I'm just a little bit more stressed this week. Uh, yeah, that does something that's something to the cortisol levels, and that's fine. All good. Um, but then I, I started to look up <laughs> oxalate dumping. Yeah. There's a very good chance that I could have been oxalate dumping this week. Not as bad as I know a lot of people get. But nonetheless, it kind of leads to that. I saw one video last night, you know, I was looking up how to ease those symptoms. You know, one of the things they said is have like a small little bit of chocolate or I'm like, hmm. ain't no way I'm having any chocolate. However small that little cube is, ain't happening. And they said, you know, and really sometimes the best thing you can do is to have a little bit of salad. I'm like, ah, oh, hell no. Oh, no. I think if a doctor, if Dr. Berry said to me, now, you know, if you are experiencing some, you know, pretty intense oxalate dumping symptoms, just have yourself a little tiny salad. You'd probably find me sitting there eating this salad, crying like a toddler does when they don't want the vegetables. It would be under complete duress. I just don't know if I could do it. But then this video mentioned tea and I'm like, uh oh. So without even realizing it, listening to my body saying, you have a cup of tea, have a cup of tea. And not going to lie, having a cup of tea for me actually helped. Um, when I saw the video last night, I was feeling quite ugh. And I asked my son, could you please make me a cup of tea? And within about half the cup, within about... 20 minutes I actually started to feel better so I would rather medicate myself with a cup of tea than another painkiller thank you <laughs> I mean who's with me am I right yep so there you go it's oh I don't know it's just it's been different this week it's had some challenges. My God, has it had some challenges. But, you know, it, it's a, oh, it's a steep learning curve. Oh. But thank goodness that information is out there so that you can make that curve less of a curve and more of a straight line. <laughs> Thank you to all the people who put that information out there. I'm just saying, because this one here is like very grateful. Um, I would like to also say again, I, I, I obviously, I, I cannot say this enough. I really can't. The carnivore lifestyle community is gold class of all the communities I've been in, the amount of support that I've had in sub subscribers, likes, comments, uh, has blown me away. It really has blown me away. I've blinked and I've gone up an extra 10. I've blinked and I've gone up an extra 50 subscribers. I'm like, what? The support is just mind blowing. And I am so grateful to each and every one of you for it. I really, really am. On that note, I am going to give you the photographs montage so that you can see what happened this week and how the carnivore lifestyle has changed me in photographs visually. And there's some numbers there for you to have a look at as well.
So there you have it. You know, the, the bust and the waist remained the same, but whew, five centimeters off the hips. Thank you. I'll take it. 1.1 kilos down. Thank you. I'll take it. And I was actually quite surprised to see those losses in numbers. Because when I looked at the photographs, I was like, oh, crikey. And then as I was putting them in to present the photographs to you guys, remembering how I felt this last week, thinking that really is a miracle that there could be a change so drastically in a week with that little bit of emotional navigation that I had to do and the tension that came with it. Honestly, this, I, I just don't understand. I mean, each to their own, you know, I, I get it, each to their own. But why would anybody be wanting to look for a magic pill? I think it was Homestead Howe who mentioned about the gold, walking past the golden nuggets. The one golden nugget with the answer to everything. Why would anybody want to take anything like Ozempic, which has, in some cases, very deadly consequences? And if not deadly, there are some life-changing consequences that will affect these people for the rest of their lives or why anybody would want to take duramine which just in my opinion is just legalized speed that ain't the magic pill that isn't the golden nugget that is not the answer i can only hope that as more people discover this lifestyle that it's going to gain an awful lot more momentum because it's deserved. This is the lifestyle, the carnivore lifestyle. That's the golden nugget. That's the golden egg. That's the, the magic pill, if you like, if you want to put it like that. That's, that's the answer. I mean, in five weeks, I've lost... 15.2 kilos. And if you look at the photographs, the difference it's given me in physical look, it's just, it's just astonishing what it's done for me physically. And I mean, the photographs are right there. But what it's done for me mentally... Oh, That has to be the most significant thing of all. The fog is lifting, still not completely lifted, but oh boy, is it getting there. And it's giving me this incredible clarity. I see things differently. I hear things differently. And to the degree that you see these things, you just, you can't unsee them. You just can't. So I honestly don't understand why people would want to take what is considered to be the easy way out and could end up having some really nasty consequences. I just don't get it. But with each video that I do and each video that everybody else does with their journey, I just hope that... You know, the more likes all these videos get, you know, that people talking about the carnivore diet, the more likes they get, the more comments they get, the more that's going to get into the YouTube algorithm. And it's just going to spread like wildfire. And that's what we need. We need it to spread like wildfire. So that's my week. And now we're going to come to my question of the week. Because I adore each and every one of you and appreciate you so much and value your support so much, I would like 
you guys to comment below. I would like to do my little midweek video on something a little different. Last week it was about Lexapro and how I got on them, off them rather. See the little remnants of that fog, still trip on my tongue a bit. I would like to ask you to ask me anything. There's only two things I won't discuss because that's how I was brought up. Don't talk about politics. Don't talk about religion. That's, that's my dad. And he's right. Don't get into it. Just don't. So I won't. But other than that, I'm an open book. You can ask me about my childhood. You can ask me about my life. Ask me absolutely anything that you would like to know. I would love to be able to answer all of your questions. So comment below and ask me whatever question you would like, because I would dearly love for you guys to get to know me even better. Because that's what I want for this community. I want you guys to know me as best as possible because that's how I operate. I, I no longer have any time for hiding behind curtains. Um, I basically want you guys to really know me well and by asking me questions, that's gonna be a really good way. So like I said, Comment below. I usually think about doing a video on Wednesday, Thursday-ish. So comment below. If you have any questions you would like to ask me, absolutely anything, I would be more than happy to answer them. And on that note, I will say to you all, be kind to those around you, but please, please remember, be kind to yourself.